Good morning and welcome to 10 Minute Training. Today we're talking about welcoming new families and this is a topic that I hope that you are all excited to listen to and learn how to grow in effectiveness because my hope is that every week we are expecting and anticipating and are prepared for new families to walk through our doors. So the first thing that I want to say um, as you consider ways that you can welcome new families in a good way, in an effective way, in a way where they truly do feel welcomed, is um, it starts with the signs that you have, even on the outside of the building. When people come to your church, do they know where to go in? If children go in in a separate area or there's an understanding that children or families go in a separate area, do you have signs on that door so people know where to go? This is going to be important. And signage all through your building is an important aspect of making people who are new feel welcome. So clear signage to where the children's area is, clear signs to bathrooms, to the nursery space, any other key area that a new family is going to need to know. It's good and important that you have good signs. The next thing, as well as having good signs and perhaps um, things like posters or information posted around, is to have somebody, a person, who is there as there to specifically greet and welcome people and particularly to be on the lookout for new families to help them know what to do. So you want to have somebody who is um, going to smile. Uh, that's important. Someone who is going to be friendly, who is going to come right away as they see someone new coming in and greet them. Not just the parents, but also the children. Going to ask names and try to connect right away. Another great tip I, I would suggest is to have something printed that you can give to families. So perhaps it's a brochure that tells about the ministries that you offer or the things that you do or something else like that. Something quick that you can hand to families to give to them that they can read later on but that gives them more information about families and family ministry or what's available for their children at the church. So be prepared with that. Maybe you have little welcome packages or bags that you give out too um, but definitely some material that specifically directs families to the information they need to know. And then um, another great way to make families feel welcome is to have a check-in table or booth or place. Something um, that says to new people that you take safety seriously. I hope that you have a protection policy in place and that you're following it and the, the, a great way to um, especially put new people at ease that you, this is a safe place for their children is to have a table or a booth right out in that open area not hidden away um, where your children's ministry might be or down a hallway but somewhere very clear and visible where parents can go there they can get name stickers or sign in or whatever the process is they can do that easily and the greeter is someone who can bring them right to that table to let them know what's happening but then don't just stop there. Make sure that you bring them down to where the children's ministry happens. There have been um, times when I visited uh, more churches than I uh, wish this was the case for, where I've entered in and it seems that the expectation is that parents would just willingly, without question, hand their child off to a stranger upon entering a church to take them down to children's ministry. Uh, as someone who now has children of my own, uh, this is not something that's going to happen um, for most parents. So it's really important that you think of that. Think of that new person who does not know your building, who does not know your people, who will not automatically trust um, just because they've come into a church what you're doing. They need to know. And this is a way just to make them feel more comfortable as well, to bring them down to that, that children's area, to introduce them to the teachers, to say, hey, here's, you know, so-and-so, and they'll be teaching this class. This is, this is, you know, where you go. This is what happens. Explain a bit of the process. It's great if that welcome person, that greeter has, um, and it can be a different person every week, but that whomever that is has um, what's called an elevator speech speech kind of ready. That is just a quick maybe 60, 90 second um, kind of few sentences about what the ministry is and what, what happens on a Sunday morning or during the children's programming time that you can just communicate um, to, to new families, to parents, to visitors. 
make it easy. This is another thing that's really important. If you have a, um, a form that parents have to fill out to register their children and it includes lots of details, that's, that's important. You get that out to families, but for a new family who may or may not be coming back again, make it easy for them to join right in. Give them the name sticker, the, the whatever the sign-in process is, have them do that, and then hand them the forms that they can bring back and read on their own. Give them a quick instruction about what it's about. Don't require them to fill out lots of information right there. Um, they've just come in new. They don't wanna be standing there for 10 minutes with lots of forms to read and all that kind of stuff. Get important information, name, any allergies, any other critical things that need to be known about the child, and then let them get their children into the ministry program and them into church. And then you can continue to follow up with um, the other paperwork that's needed. And that leads me to suggest follow up as an important, aspect of welcoming new families. If you're able to get contact information like an email or a phone number or an address from them that day, then please follow up right away that week. Uh, the next day, perhaps send um, a postcard addressed to the child, a child-friendly postcard saying, hey, it was so great that you joined us on Sunday for this class. We we're glad to see you and we hope to see you again. Um, that's all you would have to do because parents are going to feel welcomed just by the fact that you've welcomed their child and you've addressed them. So remember also that when you are welcoming new families, that it's not just about the parents and trying to get the parents to like the church. You want to um, clearly communicate that you are there for children, that children are welcome, that you care about them as people. And so speak with them, welcome them, and then send a follow-up postcard to them. Or if you don't have addresses, you can't do that. If you have an email, send an email. Any way that you're able to do a follow-up would be great. And here's another great thing that I witnessed in a church um, that did not have, uh, that we visited, that did not have contact information, but we did happen to come back again. Um, and they, and it was a couple weeks later, they remembered our children's names. That was incredible. Um, I don't know if everyone can do that. That was amazing because it was a couple weeks. But this is something too. If you have new people coming, make it a point to have your people, your key people who are greeting, who are welcoming the teachers, have it, make them um, uh, have an effort to remember a name. So if they come back, not the next week, but a couple weeks later, you remember them and you remember their names. What a great way to make a family feel welcome and to make them think maybe this is a community that we want to be a part of. Um, and then another uh, suggestion I would make is be aware of what you have printed in your, your programs, your bulletins, or what you display on the screen regarding children um, and children's programming. So for example, in your bulletin, it would be super helpful to have just even a small paragraph that just talks about, you know, we welcome children here and here's, you know, what, we, what is available for children, here's where it's located. Um, some kind of word of instruction. Um, the, the other thing too is if you have children who are part of your worship service that they stay in for maybe the first 15 minutes or so and then they're dismissed, if they're dismissed without a prayer time or a children's story or anything like that, if you just put up an announcement on the screen for them to go, make sure it's understandable to the new person. So to just have a sentence that says children can now go to their children's programming, um, is good maybe for the people who know what happens uh, every week, but not helpful for the person who's walked in new and maybe walked in late so didn't get greeted by someone specifically. Uh, so that's just another thing too, is to think about what you display. Think about using verbal cues um, in the service to be aware of the new person. And then if there is a, um, the, the reality that you have kids in for the first part of service, then make sure you have someone who's ready there to greet um, if families have come in late and didn't get greeted before the service started so that they can get the information quickly and get their children into uh, the children's ministry if they want to do that. And then the final thing I will say, because we are um, starting to uh, run out of time here, is that um, 
you want to give the option for parents either to not have their children go into the children's ministry or for them to stay and observe what's going on, whether it's for the whole time or a few minutes. So be prepared for that and don't give the impression that you don't want that to happen. Parents, um, families who are new coming to a church are coming to see if this is a community that they can belong to and that their children are safe and welcome to belong to. So make it easy for them to be part of that community to see what's going on at whatever is their comfort level. Uh, that's all I'm going to share for now. Um, I'd love to hear from you if there's other ways that you find to make families welcome. And uh, if you go back and watch again, there'll be some comments and some things posted uh, that you can look into for further information. And if you want an idea for a welcome brochure or what you could have put together, I'm going to have that posted too from one that I used at uh, my previous church. Have a good day. I hope you're welcoming families and uh, I look forward to seeing you again in two weeks from today for 10 minute training when we talk about safety policies. Thanks. Have a good day.